years ago when we were younger, I never thought I'd see the day where a man who we all knew and loved as Cliff Huxtable would be hauled off in handcuffs and chains into a prison cell. Stripped of his titles, stripped of all his good deeds, and labeled an aggressive predator. The man who encouraged young black men and women to go to college to pursue a better life of higher education. A man who was the epitome of what a successful black father looked like in the homes of many families who were without a positive black role model to look up to. What a time we're living in. Now, I can't speak on whether he did it or not because the only people who really know is the two people who were in that room on the night of the accusation. We witness a justice system that isn't as honest as we would like it to be. So it leaves a level of skepticism when things of this nature occurs, especially a black man who is known for being a civil rights proponent of positive change in the black community. If Bill Cosby is truly guilty of the things that he's being accused of, then justice was served this week. However, if he's not, this will be another knot on the belt of a long list of black bodies who's been subjugated from the justice system that has been taking their lives for hundreds of years. I can't say if Bill Crosby is innocent or guilty, but if he did assault those women, then justice was served. What's truly important tonight is the fact that on the same week, a well-known and respected black man, public figure, is in chains, sitting in a cell. Your president sits in the White House completely free of any weight or responsibility of his actions. You know, the same president who was caught on tape saying that he grabs women by the quote-unquote Pussy. I did try and fuck her. She was married. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. I can do anything. Last time I checked, that was assault. So you mean to tell me we have a president who says he grabs women by their genitalia without their consent, without their permission, just because he can, because of his celebrity and his influence and, oh, that's right, you guys elect him to be your president. But you guys believe in justice, right? How ironic is it that in this Me Too movement era that people are shouting, lock him up to Bill Cosby, but saying, let him go to Brett Kavanaugh, Donald Trump's appointee, to the highest court position humanly possible. I just find that ironic because while you cheer for the Bill Cosby decision, you make excuses for Brett Kavanaugh, the candidate for Supreme Court Justice who's been accused of sexual assault this week. You don't show that same energy and that excitement for Brett Kavanaugh's accusations or Donald Trump's accusation. I call BS. You can't cheer for one guy to go to prison based on an accusation and then make excuses for another guy who's accused of the same thing as the guy you just cheered to go to prison for. You can't say lock him up for sexual assault and say let him go for sexual assault. It has to be even and fair and just, remember? home of the brave, land of the free, you have people on the timeline and even your own president shaming the victims and shaming the women for coming forward. But you accept the testimony when it's against Bill Cosby, but you shame the testimony of the women who are brave enough to come forward when it comes to Donald Trump and Brett Kavanaugh. They say, oh, well, Brett was in college. It was so long ago. That was years ago. Who doesn't make mistakes? But when it's Bill Cosby, what happened 30 years ago matters to you. But when it's Brett Kavanaugh, what happened years ago don't matter? I'm just asking the question because your racism is showing. How ironic that in this Me Too, Time's Up era that we're living in, Bill Cosby, time is up, but President Trump has all the time in the world. How fickle and elusive this word called justice is to a certain select few. See, justice is supposed to be blind. But based on the reaction that we've seen this week from the White House and other high levels of political leadership, that word called justice that is legally blind seems to often take a peek from underneath that blindfold. You're showing it right now. Why is your reaction different? Oh, something's not adding up here. The case of Bill Cosby and so many others is a true testament that whether it's proven that you're guilty or not, they will discard you and throw you away as quick as they possibly can. However, your counterparts who have been accused of the same crime will be forgiven as quick as they possibly can with their careers unaffected. We live in a time where Cliff Hustable is considered a monster and is sitting in a prison, but George Zimmerman is out here signing bags of Skittles. 
making a laughing stock of the justice system that freed him and said he was innocent. We're going to see how you act if you believe in truth and justice, freedom and liberty. When Harvey Weinstein goes on trial, if Donald Trump ever goes on trial, when Brett Kavanaugh goes on trial, when it's their turn, remember, keep the same energy. Keep that same energy. We are looking forward for the day where the word justice doesn't mean just us. Make sure you like and follow me on Instagram at who is caliber. Be great. Be blessed. Once again, it's your boy, Kylie. Keeping it 100. Always. Somebody got to do it.